The electricity sector in Switzerland relies mainly on hydroelectricity, since the Alps cover almost two-thirds of the country's land mass, providing many large mountain lakes and artificial reservoirs suited for hydro power. In addition, the water masses drained from the Swiss Alps are intensively used by run-of-the-river hydroelectricity with 9,052 kilowatt hours per person in 2008, the country's electricity consumption is relatively high and was 22% above the European Union's average. In 2013, net generated electricity amounted to 66.2 terawatt hours (TWh). About 60% of Switzerland's electricity generation comes from renewable sources, most of it from hydro .6 while non-hydro renewables supplied a small contribution of 3.4%, nuclear contributed 37.6% to the country's electricity production and only about 2.5% were generated by fossil fuel-based thermal power stations. Topic Consumption According to IEA, the electricity use, gross production plus imports, exports, transmission, distribution losses in Switzerland was in 2004 60.6 terawatt-hours, 2007 61.6 terawatt-hours and 2008 63.5 terawatt-hours. In 2008 Switzerland consumed electricity per inhabitant 122% compared to the European Union 15 average 9052, EU 15 to 7409 electricity use per inhabitant 2008, kWh, person and 133% compared to the United Kingdom 2008, UK 370 2.19 terawatt hours per 59.9 milj person and Switzerland 63 53 terawatt hours per 7 71 milj dot person topic <laughs> hydro power Hydroelectricity is by far the country's most important source of energy, and contributing more than half to its electricity generation. Hydro power is generally divided into conventional hydroelectricity using a dam and run-of-the-river hydroelectricity. In addition, pumped storage hydroelectricity PHS plays an important role in Switzerland, being used in combination with baseload power plants and to green washing nuclear power from France. <laughs> Small hydro The KEV remuneration see below also applies to small-scale hydro power plants with nameplate capacities up to 10 MW. <laughs> <laughs> Generation Nuclear power There are four nuclear power plants, with a total of five operational reactors. In 2013, they produced 24.8 terawatt hours (TWh) of electricity. Nuclear power accounted for 36.4% of the nation's gross electricity generation of 68.3 terawatt hours. In addition, there are a number of research reactors in Switzerland, one of them at the EPFL. In 2011, the federal authorities decided to gradually phase out nuclear power in Switzerland as a consequence of the Fukushima accident in Japan. In late 2013 the operator BKW decided to cease all electrical generation in 2019 in the Müllerberg plant. 
As of December 8, 2014, the National Council has voted to limit the operational lifetime of the Beznai nuclear power plant which houses the oldest commercial reactor of the world to 60 years, forcing decommissioning upon its two reactors by 2029 and 2031, respectively. Non-hydro renewables <laughs> Feed-in remuneration at cost Kev. The federal government adopted feed-in tariffs to offer a cost-based compensation to renewable energy producers. The feed in remuneration at cost, Kev, German, Kostendeckende Einspesevergutung, French, Retribution a prix coutant du courant injecte, Italian, Remunerazione a copertura dei costi per l'emissione in riti di energia elettrica is the primary instrument for promoting the deployment of power systems using renewable energy sources. It covers the difference between the production and the market price, and guarantees producers of electricity from renewable sources a price that corresponds to their production costs. The following renewable energy sources are supported by the Kev remuneration, distributed small hydro with capacities up to 10 MW, solar photovoltaics, wind power, geothermal energy, biomass and biogas from agriculture, waste and water treatment. The Kev remuneration is financed by collecting a surcharge on the consumed kilowatt hour of electricity. As in other countries, industries with a large electricity consumption are exempt from the surcharge, which has gradually been increased and stands at 1.5 cents per kilowatt hour as of 2014. The remuneration tariffs for renewables have been specified based on reference power plants for each individual technology. Feed-in tariffs are applicable for 20 to 25 years, depending on the technology. In view of the anticipated technological progress and the increasing degree of market maturity of renewables energy technologies especially for solar PV, the feed-in tariffs are subjected to a gradual reduction once or twice a year. These reductions only apply to new production facilities that are put into operation. Planned installations of renewable power facilities have to be registered with SwissGrid, the national network operator. As of the end of 2014, a growing waiting list for solar photovoltaic systems has accumulated as demand excess the capped capacities given by the currently available funds of the KEV remuneration. <laughs> <laughs> Wind power Swiss wind power accounted for only 89 gigawatt hours or 0.1% of net electricity production in 2013. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Solar power. For many years, Switzerland's pace of deploying solar PV had been lagging significantly behind its neighbouring Germany and Italy. However, installed capacity of solar PV increased by 300 MW or 69% to 737 MW in 2013 and is likely to continue its strong growth due to the recently ramped up KEV funds. In 2014, another installed 320 MW brought the country beyond the gigawatt mark and the IEA PVPS estimates the now installed capacity sufficient to supply close to 2% of the domestic electricity demands. Geothermal <laughs> <laughs> power 
An induced seismicity in Basel led the city to suspend a geothermal energy project and conduct a seismic hazard evaluation, which resulted in its cancellation in December 2009. <laughs> Global warming Emissions of carbon dioxide in total, per capita in 2007 were 5.6 tonnes CO2 compared to EU27 average 7.9 tonnes CO2. <laughs> carbon dioxide emissions A study published in 2009 showed that the emissions of carbon dioxide CO2 due to the electricity consumed in Switzerland total 5.7 millions of tons are 7 times higher than the emissions of carbon dioxide due to the electricity produced in Switzerland total 0.8 millions of tons the study also showed that the production in Switzerland 64. 6 terawatt hours is similar to the amount of electricity consumed in the country 63.7 terawatt hours Overall Switzerland exports 7.6 terawatt hours and imports 6.8 terawatt hours but in terms of emissions of carbon dioxide Switzerland exports clean electricity causing emissions of 0.1 millions of tons of CO2 and imports dirty electricity causing emissions of 5 millions of tons of CO2 the electricity produced in Switzerland generated 14 grams of CO2 per kilowatt hour the electricity consumed in Switzerland generated 100 grams of CO2 per kilowatt hour topic power stations in switzerland there also exists a single phase ac grid operated with 16.7 hertz for power supply of railway lines see list of installations for 15 kV ac railway electrification in germany austria and switzerland Topic Notes and References Topic <laughs> See also Electric power transmission Nuclear power in Switzerland Energy in Switzerland